Hey everyone, it's Cody from the Pat and Tom Show, hanging out backstage at Golf and Guitars with Mitchell Tenpenny. What's up? How Thank you, you so much for being here. Of course, thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, did you golf this morning? I did golf this morning. As you can tell. Yes, you got I'm, a little I'm very sunburned. My nose looks like <laughs> Rudolph right now, like it's bad. My neck, I'm a, I'm a redneck. <laughs> For you sure. forgot that this is California, yeah. there's if, a lot of sun here. Yeah, if anyone's cold, just come touch my <laughs> neck and you'll be fine. Will do, it's actually kind of cold <laughs> in here. Uh, so how did you do? I think we did pretty well. Uh, shot 13 under with my team. My team played amazing, so I don't know what final Did you win AHX or no? You don't know yet. I don't know yet, so I assume for? we lost. Uh, I was playing for my charity, the Ten Penny Fund. Oh, um, what is that? So yeah, it's a fun. I just started and we're partnering with a bunch of people about, you know, when someone hears they have cancer, going for the mental side of it. How to, how to you know attack it mentally more than just the the drugs which right. there's tons of money to go to drugs and that's very important but there's a whole entire other half of that is when you you mentally can prepare yourself for and i lost my father to cancer i've, I've lost family other family members and i just feel like if they had that support or that knowledge it could have helped in certain ways and i've seen so many success stories when people you know approach it that way so i'm really trying to focus in on you know the mental aspect of when you get told that that terrible news I love that. And where can people Thank access you. information? On yeah, this? it's on my website, uh, Mitchell ten, or Mitchell the number ten penny dot com, and uh, there's a ten penny fund. You'll you'll see it right in the front, and uh, or you can Google the ten penny fund, something like that as well. Great. Thank you. So congrats on all the success Thank on you. Drunk Me, Alcohol You Later. Thank you so much. I don't know if you know this, but you can really sing. <laughs> no. You have like this natural talent food. that's just oh, incredible. You. So what makes you kind of a rare breed unlike other country music artists is that you actually grew up in Nashville, right? Yeah, born and raised. I'm proud of my city. I love Nashville and yeah, I'm pretty lucky to have been, you know, kind of raised in it and grown up in it and I love what it's become. It's a great city. Yeah, have you always loved music? I mean, were you always yeah. influenced by your own city? Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I kind of grew up in the industry, the songwriting industry. Um, my grandmother was a big part of that. My mother worked in in, the, in publishing as well. Still does. Okay. So I got to, I was surrounded by songwriters my whole life, and I just I right. fell in love with it, and I just didn't know what else to do. Kind of up my head. You know? <laughs> this was like the only path for you. Yeah, I guess. So I discovered something. Um, we both turned thirty this year. Oh yeah. Four days apart. Oh really? Are yes. You, are you older or younger? Um, uh -oh. I'm I'm younger. So, so I'm, I'm August twenty first. So oh, so I'm younger. Yes. No wait. Oh, wait. No, I'm older than. You're older. You're younger. Okay. <laughs> Why do we have to think math. about that? <laughs> this is math. It's not. I'm not good at math okay, either. So enough. obviously there there's some some, some okay. common things there. Do you have any big plans for your birthday? Uh, I, I'm play. I'm, I think I'm opening a show for Toby Keith somewhere. Oh. So we'll definitely well, drink I mean, that's afterwards. Cool. Yeah, no, I mean, that's it's amazing. not like your life yeah. sucks. No, you know, yeah, no. I, mean, I didn't mean that as a bummer. I like. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I won't just, be home just partying. For we're, we'll be working, but I'll definitely. Uh, I'll, we'll do some drinks for sure. Very cool. I love this about you. I saw that you were kind of roasted on the Chris D'Elia <laughs> yeah, podcast. I loved, I loved it. I loved it. First of all, I'm a huge fan of me, his, and I listen too, to the podcast as well. So yeah. to me, that's, I uh, mean, oh. were you pumped? Oh, of course. I, I love Chris. I mean, he was just listing off names of uh, Stagecoach. Artist. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. And then uh, he just happened to pick on me. <laughs> Ten Penny, I guess, really hit a spot for him. Right, and, he's like, what is this um, name? But it was, yeah, that was funny. I get called Dr. Giggles all the time now. So. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Thank, Giggles. Thanks, Chris. I, I appreciate it. And it is my real name, Chris. I love it. So I know you are touring a lot this summer. What tours are you on? Are you a part of one? Attached yeah, to anything major? Um, yeah, we're with, out with Old Dominion right now on the Make It Sweet tour uh, with Old Dominion, Jordan Davis. We actually fly to New York City uh, tomorrow morning to head back out on that tour. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, and then I'm playing all the festivals across the country, uh, just touring like crazy. And then we're booking our official fall tour right now as we speak. So uh, can't, we're just going to be playing everywhere. I awesome. Can't wait. Cool. Well, do you have any summer plans coming up it's other than the, touring? Yeah. Or that's it. That's it. It's just playing. I want to get to all these cities and, and play shows where people have supported us. It just, you know, that means the world to us. And, Right. I love nothing more than playing, so maybe get a break in there every now and then, maybe yeah. take a little vacation if we can find one, but um, yeah, the most important thing to us right now is get on the road and start playing some more shows. Are you the type that gets out in those cities that you do tour and explore? And Yeah, if we get time, I love that, and that's what's been great with Old Dominion. We don't sound check till like 5.30, so oh, like literally we'll bust out and we'll get there early in the morning, and, and they're bigger cities usually because they're Old Dominion, which is great, and so we've been able right. to explore and have some fun, which is good. which is good because you never really know what city you're in until you get out. Yeah, and so no, it's I fun can to only see. imagine. Yeah, you get out, you see the bus, and you're like, "Where are? Oh man, this is awesome!" And go go explore around. It's fun. <laughs> nice. So, other than "Drunk Me" and "Alcohol You Later," what should people be listening to? I know you have an album out. Yeah, we have an album out, telling all my secrets. Uh, it's been out since December, and um, yeah, it's my first record. And, there's a lot of songs on there that uh, you know I hope I hope get to see the life of 
of the single world, but yeah. if not, I mean, I'm writing every day still. Oh, perfect. I've got a ton of songs that I'm just itching to get out of it. Just so it's the weight in the game, it's the patience yeah, game. Yeah, so I know how still, that goes. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for being here, and good me. luck tonight. I can't I wait to see you it. perform. Thank you so much.